Und... Captain, I've got eyes on a Fisk construction site and their equipment's covered in dust. Just there for show? That's my bet. I'm gonna take a closer look. Thanksgiving! Spider-Man, that site's taking delivery of enough concrete to build two skyscrapers. Wait, don't tell me. They're hiding drugs in the concrete mix. That's my theory. We'll need probable cause to get on site to confirm it. You'll have it. Funny feeling. Get some of the boys up here. Got Spider Man. Okay. Wait a minute.
Don't tell me. They're hiding drugs in the concrete mix. That's my theory. We'll need probable cause to get on site to confirm it. You'll have it. You're fine!
Friday specials not till Thanksgiving. Are you kidding me? Spider-Man, that site's taking delivery of enough concrete to build two skyscrapers. Wait, don't tell me. They're hiding drugs in the concrete mix. That's my theory. We'll need probable cause to get on site to confirm it. You'll have it. Get him! And more of them. No shoving. I'll give you all personal attention. Eat this. What is that? Watch out! Go! Guys and quip, and I'm all out of quips. Captain, I've got Fisk's guys and all the probable cause you need, webbed up and waiting. Good job. Fisk thinks he can run things from inside, but he's gonna find out why long-distance relationships don't work out. Get ready, folks, because this is a bombshell. We have on the line a lady whose husband was kidnapped by Spider-Man. What? No, no, you've got it all wrong. My husband was kidnapped by criminals who shoved him into the trunk of a car. Spider-Man found him and got him out, then arrested the criminals when they came back. Pardon me, ma'am, I didn't hear that last part over my intern's utter incompetence. You realize, of course, that it's possible Spider-Man arranged the kidnapping so he could save your husband and grab all the glory? Huh, that seems like a lot of trouble to go to when he could just stop actual crimes. It's clear we are at an impasse. My best to you and your husband, madam. Jared, go to commercial, then fire yourself, then rehire yourself before the commercial ends. But no, your job hangs by a thread. If I paid you, I'd cut your salary in half. Attention units, we've just received a 
report of a break-in. There is an assault in progress. Need immediate response at Union Square. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time! I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate! What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. I'm just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot! You don't have emotions! Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Herman? What? The only answer to Shocker now? Mr. Shocker? Gotcha! Now let's talk! I can't. I can't. Okay. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now. Or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Move, move, move! Can't lose him. behind honestly Herman why are you robbing again you know the police are watching your every move 
I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Seven off. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Still enough. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Not enough. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Still enough. Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah, I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, when... Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack.
Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? <sighs> I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Veteran homelessness is... Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. You know, the business community's really stepped up. Both job training and hiring. Well, most of them. Sad not to see Oscorp here. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey workout in the city. <laughs> <laughs> 